So let us take few question and answer in GIS. GIS stands for uh, Geographic Information System. So what is projection? Projection. See, you have a 3D, and uh, in real life everything is 3D. You can see it. You want to show it on a display device or map or you know any output which is having a 2D Cartesian system. So you want to convert. So this is the projection. Converting 2D to uh, 3D to 2D is a projection. So it is a series of transformation which convert the location of points on a curved surface. You know, with certain reference uh, surface or data to location on a flat. This a uh, flat plane, and uh, we have transforms coordinates from one coordinate reference system to uh, the other. So map projection is uh, one of many method used to represent this 3D surface of the Earth or any other round body on a 2D dimensional plane. Say we use more often in cartography map making. What are different projection systems? There are various projection systems. Let us start with the azimuth projection. So this azimuth projection touch the earth to a plane at one tangent point. One tangent point. So like this. And angles from the tangent points are preserved and distance from that point are computed by a function which is independent of this angle. So distances from the tangent point on the map is equal to surface distance of, on the earth. So azimuth uh, equal area projection is there. The distance from the tangent point on the map is equal to the straight line distance through the earth and azimuth conformal projection is the same as the stereographic projection we are going to see. Conformal projections we have the another projection. Conformal projection, uh, the map projection preserves angle. This preserves the angle. So the Mercator projections wraps a, what, if this is a earth, so you wrap it, wrap around, wrap around the cylinder. So Mercator projection uh, wraps a cylinder around the earth and the distance from the equator on the map is being uh, the geographical latitude on a scale where the earth radius is 1. So stereographic projection touches, we have stereographic projection which touches a plane to the earth and projects each point in a straight line uh, from the antipode of the tangent and we also have equal area projections, these projection preserves area. So what is coordinate system? Yeah. Coordinate system. Coordinate system uh, in, uh, in natural terms means in mathematics, coordinate system is nothing but a way of finding the exact location of a point or an object. So it can have we, we can take with reference to some some axes which are perpendicular to one another, and uh, through the distance from these two axes we can say that the location is this, and with reference to another we can compare it with any other. So coordinate system enables geographic data set to use common location for integration. Like this, a coordinate system is a reference system used to represent the location of uh, geographic features, imageries, or observation. Uh, for example, GPS locations within a common geographic framework. So each coordinate system is defined by uh, first its measurement framework which is either geographic in which these spherical coordinates are measured uh, from the earth center or the planimetric in which the earth coordinates are projected onto a two dimension planet uh, surface like this. So the unit of measurement also the earth coordinate system is defined by unit of measurement also. So it can be feet or meter for, for projected coordinate system or decimal degrees of latitude and longitude. So the definition of map projection for projected coordinate system other other measurement system properties like uh, spheroid of a reference, a datum, one or more standard parallels, a certain meridian, a possible shift in x and y directions. Mention types of coordinate systems. So what kind of coordinate systems you can have. So these are the uh, two common types of coordinate system used in GIS. First is your global or spherical system such as latitude, longitude. These are often known as GCS coordinate systems, GCS, geographical coordinate system. And then the other is PCS, that is projected coordinate system, PCS. We call them as PCS. Okay. So uh, this PCS, like your, your UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator, e Albert's Equal Area, or Robinson, all of which, along with the numerous other map projection model, they provide various mechanism to project maps of the Earth's spherical surface onto a 2D Cartesian coordinate plane. So projected coordinate systems are referred to as the map projections. And coordinate system provide a framework for defining the real world location, both geographic and projected. What is a spatial reference? What do we mean when we say spatial reference? A spatial reference is a series of uh, parameters that define the coordinate systems and other spatial properties of each data set in the geo database. And it is typical that all data sets for the same area and in the same geo database use common spatial reference definition. So what this spatial reference contain the coordinate system 
the guarded precision with which the coordinates are often referred to as the coordinate resolution, and the processing tolerances such as cluster tolerance, etc., and the spatial extent which is covered by the data set that is known as the spatial domain. What is geographic coordinate system GCS? A GCS uses a 3D spherical surface like this you know, to define the location on the earth. A GCS is often incorrectly called as sometimes data, but data is only a part of GCS. So GCS include an angular unit of measure, a prime meridian, and a, a datum which is based on the spheroid. The spheroid defines the size and shape of the earth model, while the datum corrects the spheroid to the earth surface. So the point is referenced by the latitude and the longitude values. The latitude and longitude are actually the angle which are measured from the earth's center to a point on the earth's uh, surface. The angles often are measured in degrees you know, or in gradients. So this, this figure shows the world as a globe with the longitude and latitude values. You know, see, this is the center and uh, we say this is a prime meridian. Okay. So this angle, this angle, this particular angle is our, this from here to here. See, these, these are the latitude and these are the longitude. So this angle from this to this is the, is the longitude. While this angle of uh, from the equator to the parallels of this parallel, so this angle is known as the latitude. So in a spherical system, horizontal lines or east-west lines or lines of equal latitudes, these are called parallels. So these are parallels. Vertical lines, which you say here, these are north-south lines. These are lines of equal uh, longitude or meridians. We call it. These lines encompass the globe and form a gridded network called the graticule, as you see here, graticule. So the line of latitude midway between the poles is called the equator as you see in the figure. So it defines the line of zero latitude. You know? Here the latitude is zero. So the line of zero longitude is called the prime meridian as you see which is um, you know, specific for, for the world. And for most GCS the prime meridian is the longitude that passes through Greenwich, England. The origin of radicule is here is zero zero. It's fine by where the equator and the prime meridian intersect like this. This one. So the latitude and longitude values are traditionally measured either in uh, decimal degrees on DMS, degree minute second. The latitude values are measured related to the equator that ranges from say minus 90 degree uh, south to plus 90 degree to the north pole. And longitude, these angles are measured related to the prime meridian. Prime meridian. So they range from minus 180 degree to plus 180 degree. So it covers 360 degree, this covers around 180 degree. Uh, if the prime meridian is at Greenwich, then Australia, which is south of the equator and east of Greenwich, has positive longitude values and negative lat latitude values. Just, I'm giving an example. What is uh, datum or geographic transformation? Data transformation. If uh, two data sets are not referenced to the same geographic coordinate system, you may need to perform certain datum transformation or geographic transformation. So this is a well-defined mathematical model. There is a mathematical model to convert coordinates between two GCS. So as with the coordinate system, there are several hundred predefined geographic coordinates that you can access. So it is very important to correctly use this geographic transformation if it is required. And if you neglect coordinates can be in the wrong location by up to a few hundred meters. Sometimes no transformation exists. So you have to use a third GCS like uh, WGS84, World Geodetic System 1984 and combine two transformations. What is PCS now? Projected coordinate system. A PCS is defined on a flat two dimensional surface. Unlike GCS, PCS has a constant length, angle and areas across two dimensions. So PCS is always based on a GCS that is based on a sphere or a spheroid. So in addition to this GCS, a PCS include a map projection, a set of, because you know, 3D to 2D, there has to be some projection. So in addition to GCS, PCS include a map projection, a set of projection parameters that customize the map projection from a particular location and also a linear unit of measure. Compare geographic and project, uh, projected coordinates. That means in terms of advantages and disadvantages. First is the advantages of a spherical coordinate system and we'll see the disadvantage of uh, this spherical coordinate system and we'll see the advantage of projected coordinate system and then we'll see the disadvantage of projected coordinate system. So advantage of a projected uh, spherical coordinate uh, system that is ge geographical coordinate system, you can represent any point on the earth's surface as accurately as you measure uh, measurement technical law. So this system itself does not introduce errors. But what is the, what are the disadvantage of this uh, spherical coordinate system? You will encounter complex and time consuming arithmetic calculation in determined distance between any two points or the area surrounded by 
polygon determined set of points. So latitude, longitude numbers plotted directly on a paper in a Cartesian coordinate system result in distorted, sometimes you know, greatly distorted figures. Now the advantage of PCS, calculation of distance between points are trivial, just like that. So calculations are area, calculation of areas are relatively easy. And graphic representations are realistic provided the area covered is not too large. But the disadvantage is almost every point is in the wrong place, although maybe not by not that much. Or projected in, projections introduce certain errors depending on the projection. These errors are in distance, size, shapes, and directions. What is the scale? Scale. See, uh, just under, just uh, assume that you have a map. That map you can hold in your hand, and you see entire country or say entire state, and you see the roads. You know? So the road it may be say 100 kilometer. And uh, you, s you find it just in represented by one centimeter or maybe less than that. So one centimeter by one hundred by hundred kilometer. This is what scale is. So scale of a map is the ratio of distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the ground. In the representation scale, map scale may be expressed in words, say a lexical scale, as a ratio or as a fraction. So example are you can lexically you can write as one centimeter to one hundred meter, like this one is to ten thousand also. These are other way one by 10,000, this is the most used uh, scale representation. What is geocoding? Geocoding is the process uh, of assigning locations to addresses. Assigning the location to the addresses so that they can be placed uh, as points on a map. Similar to putting points on a paper map and analyze with the other spatial data. So the process the, the process the, that assigns geographic coordinates to original data, that is why the name is geocoding. What is reverse geocoding? The reverse of geocoding. Reverse geocoding is the process of back or reverse coding of a point location at a longitude to a readable address or a place name. So this permits the identification of nearby street address, places or an area subdivision such as neighborhood, county, state or country. What is georeferencing? See, uh, you have a say JPEG image. Now this image has no special, special uh, Relationship means it has it is not having any reference to any coordinate system which is uh, referred to the earth coordinates. So when you place it on a globe, you don't know where it is going to be placed. But once it is re referenced, means you have this latitude, longitude, or a PCS values. You know, once you place it here, it will fit to the actual location where, where it is going to be placed. So georeferencing is the process of taking a raster image or vector coverage, assigning it with certain coordinate system and coordinates, and then translating, transforming, and warping or rubber shading it into position relative to some other special data such as say uh, survey location, street insertion, intersection etc. This can be uh, sometimes called as uh, rectification also or georectification interchangeably. So georeferencing and rectification are almost similar. While in some contexts georeferencing is considered to only include the assigning a special reference and coordinate to the image while the rectification is the transformation and resampling of the image to remove the distortion that is orthorectification. What is geoprocessing? Let me tell you this orthorectification again because orthorectification is asked in interviews. So rectification is the transformation and resampling of the image to remove the distortion because there are various distortion which come with the image. So first you know removing this distortion is ortho rectification, ortho especially with the height or relief. What is geoprocessing? Geoprocessing is a GIS operation used to manipulate the spatial data. Spatial data and any data related to the space or locations. So geoprocessing is a GIS operation used to manipulate the spatial data. So a typical geo uh, processing operation take uh, an input data set, performs an operation on that data set and return the result of the uh, operation to an output data set. The common geo processing operation, it includes the geographic uh, feature overlay, feature selection and analysis, topology processing, raster processing and data conversion. So geo processing allow for definition management analysis of information used to form the decisions. What is a blob? Blob, binary large object, blob. Blob is a collection of binary data stored as a single entity in a DBMS. Binary data stored as a single entity in a database. So blobs are typically images, audio or other multimedia objects through uh, though sometimes binary executable code are stored as blob also. So database, database support for blobs is not universal. Anymore. What is full meaning of GPS? Global Positioning System. It is a space based satellite navigation system. Space based satellite navigation system that provides a location and time information anywhere on or near the earth where there is an un unobstructed line of sight to four or more GPS satellites. What is the role of GPS in GIS? 
the uses of GIS, GPS, and remote sensing sensing technologies. You know, maybe individually or in combinations, span a broad broad range of application degrees of complexity. Simple application might involve determining the location of sampling sites, plotting maps for use in the field, or examining the distribution of soil types in relation to yields and productivity. But we have more complex applications also, like taking advantage of analytical capabilities of your GIS and remote sensing software. This might include vegetation classification for predicting crop yield, environmental impacts, modeling of surface water drainage pattern, or tracking animal migration pattern. So precision agriculture, forest management, habitat analysis, data analysis and displays, all are there. So these were a few questions on GIS. We'll be taking one more of this. Thank you so much. Take care.